I'm John Park with the Weather Service at Santa Teresa, New Mexico, and this briefing is to just give you an update on the uh, status of our precipitation and drought for far western Texas and southwestern New Mexico. First off, some of the impacts of our uh, extended drought. We've had uh, significant farm and ranch impacts. Uh, crops not being uh, harvested or not enough being planted. Some of the ranchers have uh, had to cut back on their uh, uh, livestock, not enough water for them. Uh, for urban areas, water rationing has been uh, put in place in uh, quite a few communities. And we're making extensive use of wells for irrigation. And of course, that depletes our water table, the groundwater, and that could cause uh, problems, long-term problems in the future. Uh, another uh, impact with the drought, of course, is dust storms, and this presents uh, uh, health hazards for those with uh, compromised immune systems. And also, there's been an uptick in the uh, uh, valley fever cases reported across all across Arizona and in here in the valley as well. It also impacts travel uh, due to road closures with uh, low visibility and uh, blowing dust. As of the 25th of June, uh, the U.S. Drought Monitor showed that almost all of New Mexico and West Texas was in severe to exceptional drought. All of New Mexico actually and portions of far West Texas were in abnormally dry to moderate drought conditions. This three-year period from uh, July of 2010 to June of 2013 is actually the driest 36-month uh, period on record. The seasonal outlook that was released on the 18th of July, uh, just uh, after the onset of our uh, monsoon season, showed forecast improvement areas and even some areas in Arizona and West Texas where the drought was expected to uh, be uh, totally mitigated. And because of the uh, precipitation that we received in July, uh, the drought monitor that was released then in late July or early August actually showed that there was some mitigation but still 78 percent of the state was in extreme to exceptional drought and uh, much of southwestern New Mexico, West Texas abnormally dry uh, or moderate to severe drought. So we still had considerable drought conditions even after the onset of the monsoon. In July we had a fair amount of precipitation. August a little bit more. If you can look closely here, you can see the uh, blues and greens. This is a swath of above normal precipitation that uh, just uh, moves right up through the uh, Rio Grande Valley and comes back into the uh, lower Gila region, northern Grand County. Uh, western Texas and uh, the Boot Heel and the far, far southwestern corner of New Mexico were still in uh, r relatively dry conditions, near normal to slightly below normal. The three-month uh, precipitation from June through August, because of the precipitation from the monsoon in, uh, starting in late June and continuing into August, you can see that we're actually near or above normal over almost all of the southwestern New Mexico here. This is showing uh, in a light green above normal and a darker, slightly darker green much above normal. So we had a fair amount of precipitation during the monsoon. As of August 27th, though, we were still pretty much dry. 75% of the state was in, uh, uh, state of New Mexico was in moderate to extreme drought conditions, and there were some areas that were still in exceptional drought conditions. Far West Texas still abnormally dry. This is as of August 27th. The drought outlook that was released the 31st of August now is showing uh, some, some improvement from the Boot Hill into the Gila and across uh, northern and northwestern New Mexico, but the rest of the area is showing persistent drought persists or intensifies. Then came September. The first couple of weeks of September, actually up through the 18th of September, we had massive amounts of precipitation. You can see this dark uh, purple color here is actually 600% of the normal precipitation for that two-week period. And uh, almost all of uh, west, far west Texas and New Mexico was above normal. Just a few dry spots out in the Boot Hill and the lower Gila. But because of the precipitation, then we have a 30-day period 
up through the uh, 19th of September where we were running between 125 and 200 percent of normal for that 30-day period and what that did for the 90-day seasonal area from 19 June to 19 September uh, basically took that above normal for that 90-day period. We can see we're showing a, a large area here 125 to 175 percent of normal and that covers uh, almost the uh, well the, basically the western two-thirds of New Mexico What that did to the drought, uh, as of September 24th, you can see it mitigated a lot of the drought conditions. Far West Texas was no longer listed in the drought conditions, and much of New Mexico was in just abnormally dry to uh, moderate drought, with uh, some areas basically over uh, the eastern half of New Mexico and a small portion of the boot heel in, uh, still in severe drought conditions. But uh, that uh, short burst of rainfall in September was primarily responsible for mitigating much of our drought conditions at that time. The seasonal outlook through uh, from September through December 31st now is showing pretty much a persistence over across the entire state of New Mexico and uh, we do have an area here from West Texas into the Rio Grande Valley and the Gila we're really not sure what's going to happen because we don't have any real good solid climate indicators right now and uh, Taking it a step further, looking at our seasonal precipitation outlook, you can see equal chances of above or below normal. So basically, uh, we're not really sure exactly what's going to happen to the uh, uh, amount of precipitation that we get during the next three months. To summarize, the, uh, the drought itself uh, is not over yet. We've had a very good short-term improvement, but bear in mind that this drought has been going on for three years. Uh, we're still abnormally dry or in drought over much of the state and in far west Texas and the seasonal outlook remains very uncertain. We're really not sure what those uh, climate indicators are going to be telling us over the next few months. So if you have any questions or anything uh, you can uh, get the latest information on uh, NWS chat for emergency managers and managers and media. Uh, anyone else can use Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or anyone can uh, contact us uh, through uh, Twitter or, or uh, Facebook. And you can also get the information on uh, weather.gov on our web page. Thank you for your time. You have a great day.